The sound of water is music to the ears of Jörg Martin Rieser. He's a water sommelier, one of only a few in Germany. I certainly feel fulfilled by my vocation, by serving water, because for me water has always been important. We come from water, so it's fascinating to me to see that element. Rieser manages the stylish first floor restaurant in Berlin. Three years ago, he had the idea of creating a water menu in addition to a wine list and soon gained a reputation as a water connoisseur. He wanted to share his knowledge, so along with co-author Rosemarie Donhauser, he wrote a book about his favorite element. I wanted to show there's more out there than cheap bottled water and that water isn't just water. The taste can vary greatly. Anyone can find that out by means of a blind taste test. Just try tasting three or four different kinds of water at home, and you'll think, right, those taste completely different. Patrons of the first floor restaurant have far more than that to choose from. Here, there are a good 40 different kinds from 18 countries, as far afield as Argentina and New Zealand. There's something for every palate and for every dish. This water comes from the volcanic Eiffel region of Germany, so it's got a high mineral content and it tastes that way. It's almost like you've dissolved an aspirin tablet in it. I could imagine it going very well with a hearty main dish, maybe a steak or a braised dish, something with a strong flavor. The other, very soft, with a neutral flavor. It comes from Denmark, where there are no volcanoes. It would go well with a light appetizer, or for dessert, because it suits a sweet taste. It hasn't escaped food critic Nicolas Rechenberg's notice that water is no longer seen in fine restaurants as a mere thirst quencher. Water is becoming more and more important in restaurants. So you have water X to go with one course and water Y for another. That's something of an exaggeration, but it's fascinating that you can taste the differences. There's water with a higher salt content or a higher iodine content and neutral water. Reza's book doesn't only deal with the different kinds of water. It also talks about water myths and rituals, and about the qualities of carbonated mineral water, tap water, spring water, and spa water. It also discusses the health claims each of the bottlers makes for their product. This is from Holland. It has a high oxygen content, 35 times higher than normal water. The shape of the bottle symbolizes an oxygen bubble. The water is supposed to help with jet lag. Jörg Rieser's interaction with water is not only professional, but also personal. What's great about Berlin is that despite it being a big city, there's so much water everywhere. Whenever I'm stressed from work, I can go out and be on the water, and that's incredibly soothing. This place is especially nice for just walking and letting your mind wander. Not surprisingly, the 32-year-old lives near water. Here's where he mulls over the new kinds he can add to his restaurant's ever-growing selection.